Everybody, it's your boy Marcus Noma from Gentleman Style Podcast, your host of the number one podcast coming to you live in America. And today we have an absolutely dynamic powerhouse today on the Gentleman Style Podcast show. We have the incredible Miss Rika Wright with her. She is a dynamic, powerful, and we got to give a shout out. She's a um, veteran of our United States Navy. So shout out to her. Thank you for your service. Thank you for all your support and all you've done for our country to keep every one of us safe. She's also an exceptional woman who continues to break barriers and make a name for herself and make a difference in the world. Rika Wright was born and raised in New York City to the amazing Jamaican family who has loved her and nurtured her to the dynamic woman she is today. Upon graduating from Martin Van Buren High School, she went to serve her country in the Navy, like we talked about, and enlisted and served out her time working on jets for a four-year military term and receiving her degree from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and has honed her skill throughout her career. As a result of her, her constant determination, her perseverance, Rika has been featured in an October 2015 issue of Success, wow, Success Home magazine. She wants to inspire and empower all women to believe in themselves and follow their dreams. Could you ask for anything more from such a dynamic woman who seeks to not just better herself, but better holds those around her. And by that, she has enlisted and signed and partnered with United Credit Education Services and is one of their top producers and uses their UCES protection plan to offer unique collection of services that have been carefully selected to provide protection and opportunity for over many aspects of your finances, our finances, my finances, and cash, and all combined into one easy to use system. Miss Rika is a powerful woman, an incredible speaker, and overall here to support and help us get to a better financial place because we are just not retiring well. So without any further ado, I cannot hold her back anymore. Please help me welcome to the stage, Miss Rika Wright. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> how you doing today i am doing wonderful how are you queen how you doing i am wonderful i am wonderful on this wealthy women wednesday i'm excited thank you for having me up here i definitely appreciate you mr norman for having me on your show i'm excited I appreciate having you on the show. Thank you for the invitation um like i told you guys i i work very hard to get on people dynamic speakers calendars like miss rika and i gotta do some stuff i gotta hunt her down i gotta track i gotta get on her schedule i got an inbox i got sliding in the dm you know a couple times right just to but i do it because her powerful i've followed her for some time and what she's doing is absolutely incredible and she is changing the financial landscape for for all her clients and her partners um with united protection so miss rika Tell us, I need some tea. I need some tea. I, I gotta, we gotta deliver. Okay. What inspired you to invest and help others restore and build their credit? So what inspired me and hello everybody. Uh, what inspired me is just, first of all, my credit was bad. Okay. My credit was terrible. And so going over the years, like you said, I'm a veteran getting out the Navy and seeing. Thank you for your service. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, seeing myself and just other veterans and civilians too, you know, struggling with their credit, struggling with finances. And, and I'm like, there got to be a different way. <laughs> there has to be uh, a different way. And so a young man by the name of Mr. Edwards, um, he actually introduced me to this industry um, and met him on Facebook, right? We meet everyone on Facebook. You know, we all went to Facebook together, right? And so, <laughs> so he's like, where do I know with this person from? Where I know we went to Facebook together. So when he introduced me to this, I said, okay, this is something that I can use. However, not only I can use it, but 
anybody can use this, right? Everyone needs their credit repair. Um, everyone needs to know more about their finances and how to utilize, you know, their finances. Financial literacy is something that we don't really talk about um, a lot, especially in school. So that's what made me want to jump into this and um, not only help myself build my credit, but help other people. I love helping people. And we love that about you. And we, the world needs more women and more people like you who are changing um, the landscape, especially in credit. Why, why credit repair and why is it so important to you? I understand that you have bad credit, but what is it that you're seeing out there? What is it that you're seeing when you're helping people get to, because you, you hoot and hurrah, right? If you follow this lady, she's on Facebook, Instagram. Um, and if you follow her story, you we're seeing people right? Um, their credit is jumping 50 points, 60 points, a hundred points, right? Tell us, it, it, what does that do to you? I know what it does to me. What does that do to you when you see those numbers? I want to know what it does to you too. <laughs> it gets but me excited. Me, it, it gets me enthused. Right, I, I get excited. I get extremely excited. Um, I'm excited because I'm helping people, right? I'm helping that person. They, they, like you said, their score is going up 50 points, 100 points. Some people 230 points, 300 points within a 90 day time frame, and that gets me excited, you know, because that person is elevating. That person is going to another level. That person is now able to do things that they weren't able to do before, and that's what it's all about. We want to help people move forward, especially in 2020. I mean, we all know what happened this year. Um, a lot of people are prepared for what happened. And so we can help just prepare people for to go into 2021, not knowing what 2021 has to bring either, then they'll be in a better position um, in their life. Very true, very true. And that's, that's important, right? Because 2020 has been hell. Let's just say, <laughs> I'm gonna say, we, all, we can say 2020 has been hell. And it's also brought us indoors and taken a lot of people that with the with the bad, there's also been some good. And it's allowed people to come indoors and really take a look at themselves. And right. one of the things that people are now realizing is my credit is jacked up and now I have some time to really work on it. What is a perfect what is considered a perfect credit score? And so perfect credit score, you want to be above 750, right? Stay in that range. Um, the highest you can go is 850, of course. So that's that's up there, right? 850. But once you go over 750, your your credit score, you're in an excellent range. And so um, it's important for if you want to buy a home, if you want to buy a car, if you want to, you know, purchase anything that requires you to pull your credit, then you want to have your score as high as it can be. So interest rates are not, you know, your worst enemy. <laughs> that's true. That's true. And I, her famous post, y'all, she's being so humble. Her famous post is, is uh, if your score <laughs> begins with a four, five, or six, please call me. And, call me. <laughs> and it's true. It's true. And, and, and it's no game. It's not a lie because it. Miss Rika is helping us get to a better place. And what are some of the things that a good, a perfect credit score can do for someone, right? What are the benefits? Man, it can do a lot. It, I mean, where do I start? You can invest, right? And that's going to take your portfolio to a whole nother level in income. Um, you can buy a house. You can buy, purchase tons of real estate, okay? If that's what you want to do. Um, and that's going to increase your bottom line. Um, put your family in a different position altogether, right? Uh, you can purchase a car if that's what you need. So when your credit is in a good place, you can do a lot of the, your necessities, but you can also start investing and then that's going to grow you right it's going to grow your bottom line if you want to start a business or invest in a business thank you danielle i'm seeing your comments thank you danielle um it's going to help you to grow um and so credit is important um as you already know in the united states so we want to make sure that your credit is where it needs to be because it's not only going to help you um with real estate even some jobs nowadays right you have um employers who they won't hire you Right. Mm. Let's be transparent for a moment. A few Facts. years back, and this is after I was in the military. Um, I um, went and applied at the. I want. Do I should I say the city, the police department? I ain't gonna say what city. Okay, that's I fine. That works. Yep. I, 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 <laughs> but I applied to work as a police officer because um, I said, you know what? I think I can help even more people if I'm a police officer. 
And, you know, their their interview, oh my God, their or application process is ridiculous. Okay, yes, I was in the Navy and that was a process. But the police department, what? They want your toenail clippings. They want your, I'm just playing, but they, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. You know, what's your mother's, this, they, they ask for a lot. So everything, blood. the process went well, everything went well. However, when they went to check my credit, they were like, oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Wright. Okay, so credit is very important. It is very important because it can literally um, have your money looking funny. And we don't want that. <laughs> Absolutely. We do not want that. Absolutely. 1000% correct. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to Gentleman Style Podcast. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. We will be right back. Hey everybody, this is your boy Marcus Nomer from Gentleman Style Podcast and the incredible, the amazing, the super fragilistic espialidocious Miss Rika Wright, the credit hey, hey, hey. plug. If you're just tuning in, please like, share, and subscribe. She is spilling all the credit tea today on Gentleman Style Podcast. We must get this woman and uplift this woman and support her because she is impacting lives. So a couple seconds ago, you just stated that the benefits of credit repair are vast. And having a good, perfect, solid score can help you change your life, invest in the things and believe in the things that you want to do. What are some of the things that you're seeing and why can't we get it right? What? Why are we ha messing up our credits? Why isn't this important to us in, in the community? What, what are you seeing with your clients? So a lot of it has to do with mindset. OK, so let's start there. Um, everything has to do with mindset. If your mind is not ready for something to change, then you're not going to change. Right. Exactly. And so I'll give you a quick example. A lot of uh, my clients, they say, you know, oh, I'm ready to get started. I want to get my credit uh, right. I want to restore my credit. I'm looking to buy a home. I want to buy a car. But Christmas is coming up. And I'm like, what? Mm. Wait, wait. what do you mean Christmas is coming up? It always comes up. It's the same time every year. Like it's not. It's not new. It is coming up, but this is an issue. Like this is an emergency. You know what I'm saying? And so, it has a lot to, to do with mindset. If we're worried about you know spending money on gifts, when probably we spent money on gifts all throughout the year. If we're honest, right? We're always buying things for people. We're always buying things for ourselves. So we we shouldn't make Christmas an excuse to invest in ourselves, right? We couldn't make Christmas an excuse. We shouldn't make Christmas an excuse. Um, to go into 2021 with a different situation. You know, if, if your bank account, you know, you go to the ATM and it's looking at you like, why are you here? Then we shouldn't be, you know, worrying about Christmas. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we, we just shouldn't. And so um, I think mindset is key. And that's one of the issues that I see um, across the board. You know, people are just not mentally ready to make a change. And so that, that needs to change and that needs to shift. They need to understand it it's important to get your credit right. It's important to make sure you have income coming in that can support, you know, once your credit is where it needs to be, that you have the income to back that. Absolutely. But it's not just income, right? It's not just income. There's what things make up my credit score? What factors that I should be considered, um, that I should consider make up my credit score? Because it's a whole slew of things, right? Right. And so on-time payments, and that's why I mentioned income. Your income needs to be there to support it. Because if you don't have any income, then what do you do? You go pick up your credit card, right? And you run it up like, yes, no. <laughs> now your utilization is high, right? So we want to keep your credit card limit or your utilization under 30%. Really, you want to keep it between zero and 9%. That's mm. how your credit is going to increase. That's how credit bureaus are going to say, oh, okay, they're handling their debt. Right. Because that's really all the credit score is comprised of is debt. Right. Let's be honest. It's just debt. So they just want to see how you're managing your debt. Right. So if you keep your credit limits on your not your limits, your utilization under nine percent, then you'll be good to go. Um, the other thing, and that's 30 percent of your credit score. Right. Ooh, your utilization. That takes 30 percent. Right. An even bigger chunk 
is your payment history or your on-time payments. So if you're making late payments, that's 35% of your credit score. All right. And right. So we want to make sure that your payments are on time. Wow. Exactly. You want to make sure that your payments are on time. Um, and again, that's why I mentioned income, right? Because if you don't have the income coming in, you're not going to make your payments on time, right? Uh, but budgeting, that's something else that we offer at no extra cost because that's going to help you to pay your bills on time. Why? It's in your budget. It's going to tell you what money needs to go out, when it needs to go out, what bill needs to be paid, when it needs to be paid. So everything's on time, right? And it's also going to help you, you know, budget everything. So, you know, you're not spending more than you're earning. Okay, that's going to affect your credit score too. So we want to make sure all of our clients' bills, they're paid on time. Um, we can't pay their bills on time, right? But we give them a tool, the budgeting tool, in order for them to input their numbers. And that way they can actually do that. Love that. Love that. Rika, right, y'all? It's been to get to a better place. You guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in to this. Is it's what if because I know you've come across this. You have clients that um they do the budget tool, they 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 enter your program and you're with them every step of the way. And it's a in sometimes, not always, but sometimes it's just an income problem. You just don't make enough money. So how can someone um make more money with you and what you do? Can 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 a person become a credit respect a credit repair specialist? They can. They can. I'm glad you asked that. Um, we definitely help people make an extra income because that's such a, a, a problem right now. You know, we say Corona or COVID, it's a pandemic. No, it's a pandemic out here because people don't have any money. You know, the bank right. accounts, like I said, your money's looking funny. That's a pandemic, right? That's an epidemic, <laughs> you know, in a lot of communities, um, not just our the Black community, even in a lot of communities. And so, um, with us, we do have an amazing opportunity where we're not only able to fix your credit, but we're able to put money in your pockets, right? Every single Thursday um, for qualified agents. So you're able to actually become a credit repair agent yourself um, and refer other people, right? You refer other people. We're helping other people every day. We don't want to keep all the goods to ourselves, right? And just help ourselves, <laughs> and our family, um, our friends. Our, our neighbors, our, our enemies, you know, our enemies, they need help too. They need, you know, they need their credit fixed. Um, and so, yes, you do have the opportunity with us to get your credit fixed while making an extra income and extra income is definitely needed right now. Um, so if anyone listening out there, you know, you need an extra income, definitely hit me up. Um, you can inbox me and um, we can get you the help that you need on top of fixing your credit. Uh, credit monitoring is also something that we offer as well. So while your credit is being restored, um, your credit monitoring is actually going to monitor your credit. So anytime your score changes, you'll be notified via email. Ooh, I like that. I like that. What is the Million Dollar Hall of Fame? Ooh -wee. <laughs> so the Million Dollar Hall of Fame, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Mr. Eric Worre, a beast, okay, in, in our industry. Um, he teaches us so much. So much. I just got back from our the GoPro event, and um, he's just a brilliant, a brilliant young man. And so, the Million Dollar Hall of Fame is something that he created for thousands of us in this industry. Um, once you make a certain uh, amount of money, when you hit the million dollar level, right? Once you start making seven figures, then you're inducted into that Hall of Fame. And so that's super exciting. It's super important, you know, to change that legacy for your family. Right. Because hitting seven mm -hmm. figures or eight figures, nine figures, even 10 figures. Right. I, I want to be a billionaire, not just a millionaire. So when you hit that number, it doesn't mean, oh, I want to be a billionaire. Now I can spend all this money. You getting there is the process and getting there. It's the person that you, you're growing into, the person that you're becoming as you're getting there. Right. Because you can't make 10 million dollars and stay at the same mindset level. So that's what excites me about um about that and about how many people that I can help. So that Million Dollar Hall of Fame is people who are at the seven figure level and above. Um, and it just means that, you know, we've helped a lot of people. That's, that's really what it is. We helped a lot of people um, to change their life. 
And I love that. And I had to ask that question. And that's why I asked it because the Million Dollar Hall of Fame, a lot of people think, well, oh, that's someone made a million dollars off of me. No, that's how many people you served, right? right. We're about, this is a service business, right? Exactly. Not, everyone makes money you're you're benefiting because one of the things um you're benefiting from is lower interest rates because your credit is now repaired so you've now made money from a program that helps you get to a better place and with that right. reduced interest rate you're not you when you go and apply for that 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 new car loan you're paying a lower interest rate and seeing that reduced savings and money still in your pocket and and did I, did I did I miss it? But you said you get paid every Thursday. Every Thursday. <laughs> every Thursday. Not two we weeks. Not on the first and the fifteenth. Not on the first and the fifteenth. Not on you know the the third and the eighteenth. <laughs> every single Thursday, direct deposit. Just because you help somebody, you know, and so that's important. You know, just because you refer someone and you reached out to help someone, we, we refer people to a movie or to a dinner or to a restaurant all the time. You know, if you eat at the Cheesecake Factory, I'm not, I'm not plugging them. I'm just saying you go eat at this restaurant, and you eat something good and you're like, oh, you, you go tell your friends. Right. Because it was something good. You watch a good movie and you're like, oh, I got to tell Marcus, you heard about this movie. Let me tell you, you know, <laughs> and um, you tell everybody because you want them to experience that same amazingness that you just experienced. So it's the same thing with credit repair. It's the same thing with your finances. You don't want to hold that to yourself. If you had the cure for a ridiculous disease, right, like this year, you would run out and tell everybody you want to help people if you want to help people, right? If that's your heart, if that's your nature, you're going to want to help people. And so mm -hmm. um, this is the same thing. The only difference is you're getting compensated for it. And that's just the cherry on top. You know, if, if you love to help people regardless, hey, this is for you. Um, you can get your finances in the right place here, but just helping people, it gives you such an amazing feeling um, and you're compensated every Thursday when we get paid six different ways, six different ways, not one way, not you two ways, six? six different ways. And I ain't going into all of them because y'all might pass out. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be in your DM like, hit me up. All right, like what? <laughs> Millions of Americans are unemployed right now. They may hit you up. They're going to they gonna find you, girl. Hey, yeah, if you guys are just tuning in, thank this is Miss Rika Wright, the credit plug. She's absolutely dynamic. We're going to go. We got to pay some bills. We got one more commercial break. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay with us. Stay engaged and keep um, asking those questions because we will be right back. Are you a local business looking to offer your customers easy access to cash without having to travel miles? We're here to help. At Norman Legacy Investments, we provide free ATMs with free installation that provide a suitable investment for your business. Even better, we offer you some profit sharing and handle everything from start to finish. Just reach out to us today to schedule a free consultation. Hey, y'all, we are back to Gentleman Style Podcast, the host of the number one show coming to you live in America. And we have the incredible Miss Rika Wright, the credit plug. And she just helped us get to a better place. And she just helped us discover how to create not one, not two, six new passive um, streams of income from partnering with her and learning from the best, the, the best, when I say the best, um, the best. I'm not kidding about that. That's not, that's not to be facetious. Um, but Miss Rika Wright is helping us get to a better place. So stay tuned, stay engaged and stay with us as she helps us grow and we grow with her. Miss Rika, I heard a rumor and you can, can you help me? I heard a rumor that my rent from my apartment can actually help me restore or even build my credit. How is that possible? Yeah. And so, uh, you guys have probably seen some of you that follow me. This week, this past week, we've been launching this campaign. <laughs> like me, yes. <laughs> we launched a campaign, and this past Sunday was day number one, and we're super excited about Credit My Rent. Okay, yes, Credit My Rent. It just it does exactly that. Okay, you get credit for your on-time rental payments. So if you've been paying rent for a year, two years, we can actually go back up to 24 months, okay, and report those on-time payments to the credit bureau. So that's amazing. 
Um, renters don't get right. <laughs> renters do not get credit, okay, for their rental payments. If you own a home, yes, that's reported. You make a late payment, yes, that's reported, right? <laughs> but, um, if you're renting, you don't get uh, credit for the payments that you make every month, and that's pretty sad because that's a big amount of money that you're spending every single month, and you should get credit, right? You should get credit for that. So yeah, Credit My Rent is a program that. Um, we didn't just come out with a program, but we're now we're able to report to not only Experian, but TransUnion. So every time you make a rental payment, an on-time rental payment, let me stress that, on time, okay? We're not reporting no late payments because that's not going to help I put $2 you. on it. You put, right, I put 5 on it. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. So we want to make sure <laughs> that we're reporting on-time rental payments, okay? So if you have a great rental history and you've been paying on time, all of 2020 or all of 2019, then definitely um, let me know so that way we can help you get those payments reported. Okay, once uh, we report that in 72 hours, boom, the credit what? bureaus get your information. Yeah, they they verify that your payments are made, and within se and in seven within 72 hours, they have the information and your score goes up automatically. And so within 45 days, you'll see a huge increase between 30 and 100 points just from your rental payments. They ain't nothing mm -hmm. paying out that fast. There ain't no stimulus. There ain't nothing paying out yeah, that yeah, fast. Oh, Jesus. We're going to stimulate ourselves. Okay. We're not waiting for no stimulus check. <laughs> I love it. That energy, that vibe. I love it. Love it. We have one question from Miss Monica Tyson Fain from the audience. She wants to know what are your thoughts on programs like Credit, Credit Sesame or Credit Karma? Are they really helpful? And so, let's, Credit let's Karma. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you good. I was gonna say let's 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 let the experts. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is her show. And so, and so, Credit Karma and Credit Sesame, they're awesome tools, and they keep you in the loop. They keep you engaged. I would say go for it. Definitely utilize them. Some of the information is not always accurate, um, but they're definitely a guideline to keep you in the loop of things and to let you know what's going on with your credit. Some people don't use anything. Right. A lot of my clients, they'll come to me and be like, I'll say, what's your credit score? And then, mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Question mark. So that question be, mark. Right. It's like a question mark. What's on your credit report? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's bad. How do you know it's bad? You know? And so we want to that's that's a good question. So definitely utilize them. That way, you know, at least what's showing on there or what may be showing on there, because our credit attorneys can find something and say, hey, this is up there or this is on there, but we can get it deleted. So that's a good tool to use so that you're in the loop of things. And so, you know, when you're actually, you know, uh, worried, not worried, but you're actually participating, you know, in your credit repair uh, situation. So, yeah. I love that. I love that. Ms. Monica Tyson, very, very great question. Um, a very powerful question because I had no clue about that. So that's <laughs> unique and that's powerful. And that's good to know because I may have gone to a car dealership and been pleasantly surprised. I'm like, yeah, I'm walking out there picking the nicest car. I'm like, yeah, that I want that one. I got the score. Um, sir, get the hell out. Um, you hey, you're like, oh, you want the credit karma, huh? No. <laughs> when the credit karma, I, I, they so, hype you up. They hype you up. Yeah, and sometimes the score on credit karma is not accurate. It's sometimes it's a little higher than what it, you know, you go into the, credit, into the car dealership. Like, I got a 750. Like, you know, you got a 640, but um, you know, at least use it to <laughs> gauge. Um, and when it comes to credit, um, or not credit, car companies or car dealerships, right? That's another reason why we want to have our credit in the right place. So you have an auto score. You not only have uh, your FICO score, you have an auto score, right? You have a hiring score, right? Those of you who are tuned in earlier, when I applied for the police department a few years ago, and they didn't hire me because of my credit, because there's a hiring score. So that's how they're able to see what your score is. And it's not a number, it's a letter. So if your credit's bad and you have an F when it comes to that employer, right? If you have a D, you have an F, they're just not going to hire you. They're not going to ask any questions. They might, but if they see that F or that red, then that's it. So there's an auto score as well. They see your auto score and automatically it's like, oh, uh, yeah. Mm -mm. Or they might ask you for a cosigner. That's another, you know, hey. <laughs> and so um, you want to make sure that your score is good because of that as well, because you don't want to go to a car dealership and they have your interest rate at 25 percent 
thirty percent just because your credit is not in the right place. So yeah, we can definitely help you with that too. Absolutely, I love that. I love that, Miss Rika Wright spilling the tea on credit. I had no idea that there was a rating or a score. Um, we got another one more question. Another question: Is there a mortgage score too? And that's a good follow up. It, you know, I got a job mm -hmm. score. I got an auto score. Is there a mortgage score like banks look at? And so normally they look at the median score, right? When you're going to uh, purchase a home and the loan officer, they're looking for the median score. And so there's no particular mortgage score. It just depends on who you're going with, really. Some people look for a 640, some people look for a 620, some people 680. Um, but again, you want to make sure that your score is at a higher rate. Don't just go for the minimum, right? We're not doing nothing minimum in 2021, no. And so we want to make sure that your score is high enough so that you can take advantage of better interest rates, right? So your mortgage payment is not on the high end when it doesn't have to be. Facts. Facts. Great question, Henry, from the audience. I love that. Miss Rika, let's say um, I have, I've messed up, right? Completely messed up. I've filed bankruptcy, right? And I filed bankruptcy. There's absolutely nothing you can do to help me repair my credit, right? It, it's it's over. It's done. It's a wrap, right? Yep, that's it. I'm just playing. So <laughs> <laughs> throws over. Cut. <laughs> you're done. That's it. You're, we can't. You're help done. You. Give up. <laughs> <laughs> and so with the <laughs> with the bankruptcy, we are uh, fortunate. Fortunately, yes, we are able to help you. We've removed tons of bankruptcies um, from credit reports. So we are able to help you with that. Um, leading up to your bankruptcy, you have a bankruptcy because there's other things that were on your credit report, right? On your credit profile. There were things that you were unable to pay, unable to do. So when we look at your whole payment history or your credit history, your credit report for the last few years, there are items leading up to that bankruptcy, right? So we have to look at all of that too. It's not just, oh, I have a bankruptcy. You know, there are other things leading up to that. So we're able to remove those things and clean up your credit report and then remove that bankruptcy. Absolutely. I love that. Great question. Great question. Um, this, is our, this, this is a unique question because I wanted to ask it with you. Um, when someone comes to you, is it a good idea for them to bring their credit reports from all three bureaus? Do you recommend, and this is good to Shanique's question, do you recommend getting your credit report from all three bureaus annually? I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Um, with our program, we don't necessarily need you to bring it to us. Right. Because our credit attorneys, they're going to do all the, that legwork. They're going to do the investigating and, and find what they need to find. All right. But it's important for you to keep up with your credit. Right. You want to go ahead and get those free credit reports uh, annually so that you know what's on there, what's showing on there. Because if you don't look at it, then how are you going to know that it's bad? You know, well, yeah, if you go apply for something, you're going to know that it's bad. If they deny it. Right? <laughs> and, you know, other than that, something might pop up on there that's inaccurate. You know, or somebody might go buy something in your name and you never know until you actually get your credit report. So I highly recommend that you are an active participant, you know, in your credit journey and make sure that you know what's on there. You keep up to date with what's on there. So get your free credit reports. Um, when you use our services, you're going to get credit monitoring, like I said. Um, so you're going to stay up to date on the progress. So anytime we do something, you'll be notified via email. You're also going to see, um, you're going to be able to log in. You'll get your own private portal that you can log in with your email and the last four of your social uh, so you can see what's going on. So you're not blind to what's going on uh, as you, we're repairing your credit. This is pinky up. This is real pinky up. I love how you keep saying that. And every time you say it, it just is like incredible. It's not a lot of times with these credit crashes, they're kind of like, all right, give me your stuff. I'll, I'll see you in a week. But you keep bringing it back home and you keep saying, we are with you. Our credit attorneys are going to look back at, going to look at your packet. They're going to look at your stuff. And then we're, we're going to work on this together. And that's important, right? Because <laughs> we, we didn't mess up our credit by ourselves. So we need someone to help us build it, right? right? So I love that you keep mentioning that, that our attorneys, our attorneys, our attorneys, we're going to work with you. We're going to be there. I love her. And this is what she does. This is what she does for a living, y'all. So we and, have to, yeah, go ahead. And and the other thing, so yeah, we are with you. Um, and so there is a waiting period, right? So I want to stress that. Be patient when it comes to 
credit repair. You be patient when it comes to your finances, y'all, and be patient with yourself. Okay. Like and like he just said, it didn't take you overnight to get to where you are. If your credit's a 400, a 500, 350, it didn't take you overnight to, to get it to where it is, right? You it, it was messed up for years, probably. And so don't, you know, uh, uh rush the process. You know, don't expect for it to be amazing. You have an excellent 850 score in a month. It's not gonna happen. And here's how I feel attacked. <laughs> and so um, I don't want to attack anybody, but just being honest with you guys, you have to be patient. You have to be patient with yourself, number one, right? Take yourself out of the out of the loop, out of that, you know, beating yourself up. No. If you see that your credit's bad and you're taking the step to get it in a better place, good for you. That's what you want to do, right? We want to take responsibility and get our get our stuff in order, get our stuff right. So be patient. Um so in that waiting period, once you, you send your dispute letters off, you could, there's a waiting period, 30 to 45 days for us to hear back from the credit bureau. So during that process, mm-hmm. you might not hear from us, right? Because we're in a waiting game. We're going to hear back. We want to see what exactly they found uh, at the credit bureau. And so you, as a customer, you might get some correspondence back from the credit bureau. And if you do, then you want to fax it in or, or mail it into us so we can have that on your profile to see what they said. Love it. Love it. I want to bring back I'm a, right, I'm a pull it up. Huh? Monica said, forgive yourself. Right. <laughs> <laughs> forgive yourself. Right. Move on. Heal and, and move forward. And mm-hmm. I, I want to double back on this because, again, um, there are millions of Americans that are unemployed right now. And people are, are scratching at the bits for that 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 stimulus. But mm-hmm. and I want to touch. I'm, I'm going to ask it of you on the show live. Um, can you give us at least one of the other ways that people can make money um, with partnering with you? Um, I know you said it's like you have a there's six different ways of earning yeah. that. We have residual bills, but we need to learn <laughs> to change that mindset and get some residual income. So what just give if you can give us one of those other ways, right? Because we get paid every Thursday. What other ways can people um get paid by your company? Yeah, of course. So one of the ways that you will get paid uh, is if you come on board and you refer somebody. Okay, we have a referral program. When you refer people to our services, you're gonna get paid a hundred dollars for each person that you refer. So that's amazing. You know, that's extra income, like for real, for real income. You know, if you're referring 10 people a week and they get started that you just made a thousand dollars. And so this is life changing income. Um, It can support what you're already doing. If you have a nine to five, this is a perfect part time. Right. So you don't have to leave your home. You can do it right from your house, right from your cell phone. But you're able to make an extra income just by helping other people. Um, That's Mm -hmm. one way. Yeah. (laughs) Love it. That's just one way. You know, we have a car program as well. Um, once you help a certain amount of people, you're able to get either a Mercedes, an Audi, or a Cadillac. And um, and so yeah, and so it's amazing. Um, it's it's so many different benefits um with this organization. I love it. I absolutely love it. We're helping a lot of people. Y'all need to like, follow, share, and subscribe this message. We need to uplift this woman, Miss Rika Wright. Um, she is changing the dynamic of how people can get to a better place, not only financially, but also personally. Miss Rika, what is your goal for, for your company? What is your goal and how do you what do you plan to do first when you achieve it? Wow. Well, one of the things that I plan on doing, again, I am a veteran, and so I don't like to see other veterans, especially female veterans, um, homeless and, you know, not sure, not knowing what to do when they get out of the military. It's like they're stuck or they're lost. You know, when I got out, I felt lost. I felt like, I don't know what to do now. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's, that's not a good feeling to have. Um, and it's, it's, it's saddening that when you get out of the military, it's like, they're like, oh, bye. You know, we forgot you. You started our, the country, but whatever. And so I want to help those people, right? I want to make sure that no one um, that, that I know of, right, um, is, is homeless. And so it takes it takes more than one person, right? It takes a village. But that's one of my goals is to make sure that female veterans have somewhere to live. So that's one of my first goals is to build 
an apartment complex so that um, they will have somewhere to live and provide programs to them for them that they'll be able to not only have somewhere to live, but they'll be able to um, uh, have self, self-development, right? Because while they're living there, it can be great just to have a place to live, of course. True. But while you're there, like, what are your dreams? What are your goals? What are some things that you want to do, right? You're a person too. You might have dreams and goals. Just because you're homeless doesn't mean you don't have goals still, right? You just might not have someone um, that's there to, um, and thank you, thank you. I see your comment. Uh, you might not have someone there to help you, you know what I mean? And so I would definitely want to be there to help them um, make sure they have a roof over their heads, make sure they have the services they need, whether they're looking for income, uh, whether whatever their dream is. You know, we all have different goals and dreams. And I think if you have somebody in your corner that's able to help you to achieve that, then that's all some people need. And like, they just need that, that, that hand, you know, they just need help. They just need somebody in their corner. And so that's what I want to do. Mm, mm, mm. Amen, amen, amen. And the church say amen. How has COVID nineteen how has COVID nineteen affected your business, your family, and the way you invest? And what's the pivot? What's the way um that business owner who's out there struggling right now? Um how how can we help them? How can we help them um survive this thing? Mm -hmm. So I would say I would say this. Number one, put God first. That's number one, because he's going to show you exactly what you need to do. Um, he's going to order and direct your footsteps. Um, the second thing, faith without work is dead. So we want to put some work behind it. Right. Um, if you're a business owner, um, definitely pray. But definitely um, you want to be consistent. You know, you want to be consistent every single day. Not one time, not throughout the day. Be consistent every day. Um, that's going to help your business grow. Um, you want to stay around people who um, who cheer you on. You want to stay around people who are positive and who are going where you're going. You know. Um, the other thing is, if you're hurting for income, then definitely partner with us, right? Partner with me because we're going to help you get that income, and then you can pour that back into your business. Because I'm sure there are people where you're working at your business who also needs their credit repair too. You know, this is not just about me. It's not just about Mr. Norman. It's about helping our community. So if you're hurting as a, as a business, you know, partner with us and see how you can make an extra income as well uh, for you and your employees. So that way we can go into 2021 um, in a better place and a better position. Because we want to help the community. It's not just about one person or five people. No, it's, it's millions of people out here, like he said earlier, that are hurting. You know, 45 million people needed their credit fixed earlier this year. That number doubled. Wow. That number doubled, you know, and there's still over 10 million people without income, without jobs that are on unemployment. And so we have an answer. We have a solution for people to not only receive, you know, credit repair, um, but also get an income, receive an income every week, every single week. Um, on top of that, we also offer a will, trust, file of attorney. You know, so we want to make sure that you're stable, that your family's um, taken care of in case of an emergency. Your will is in place at no extra cost. OK, you have your credit monitoring at no extra cost. You have your identity theft protection up to a million dollars. We partner with Allstate and they're doing a, a identity theft protection up to a million dollars. No extra cost. And so and even as an agent, you also get life insurance included. No extra cost. Okay? I was waiting for that. I was just waiting for that. I was like. What? Right. No extra cost, y'all. So this is it's just an amazing opportunity. It literally gives you the foundation that you need. It changes your life financially. And um, that's what it's about. We want to change people's lives for the better. I love that. I love that. And 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 Miss Danielle said it best. She can we can see her genuine heart. Um, Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> We have to uplift her. We have to support her. We have to get behind this this young woman of God and 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 get and propel her and get behind her because we can't do this alone. No one gets to where they are um, alone. Thank you, Miss Patience Dean, for the monetary donation. I appreciate you. Appreciate that. That helps support the show and helps us grow and build. Um, because I'll be popping tricks to get these. And no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but I, I, <laughs> <laughs> to get people on the show, man. I'll be working oh hard. God. I'll be working hard to get great, great people, wholesome, nurturing, loving people like you on the show. Um, I Thank appreciate you. it. 
Um, appreciate your time. I appreciate you. What books would you recommend? Um, what's a book? What's a good book that's helped you on your journey? Man, oh my gosh. Um, well, right now, as I have a book club, we meet every Sunday for all of our agents. Um, and we're right now we're reading 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by okay. John Maxwell. Yes, that book is, is amazing. Um, anything by John Maxwell is amazing. If y'all don't know who he is, you need to know who he is. <laughs> um, he's like the leadership guru, right? That's who the White House calls and all these countries call um, for their to help their organizations grow and to thrive and to be successful in whatever they're doing. Um, so we're reading the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership uh, by John C. Maxwell. And that book will help you to look at yourself. You know, it will really help you to look at yourself, to uh, help you grow, to see what you're doing wrong, <laughs> you know, how you can improve. Um, and there's practical things, you know, in there. You're not just reading in. It's a whole bunch of fluff. And there's literally 21 laws in there that are going to help you. And so we're going over um, the book law by law every week as well to help the team grow. Um, because if you don't grow, your business is not going to grow. You know, your business is going to stay right at the level where you are. Uh, your bank account is going to stay right at the level where you are mentally. So self-development is key. Um, I can't stress it enough. You know, your question earlier when it asked what the issue was, why people won't get their credit fixed, why people won't move forward and do something different, it goes right back to mindset. So I definitely recommend that book, 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership is the name again by John C. Maxwell. Definitely, definitely go out and get it. You can download it on Audible as well. Um, for those of you who you know like like to listen, everybody learns differently. And so definitely get that book. Um, the Compound Effect is another one by Darren Hardy. Mm -hmm. I actually won that book <laughs> and I love it. it. It's so many different lessons in there. It, it teaches you a lot. So those two books I definitely recommend. Absolutely. Love those. I love those two books. I got um, Compound Effect in my Audible's account right now. I haven't read it, but it's, in, it's <laughs> on the list. It's, it's on the list to be on. read. Please read it. You will love it. I mean, I love it. I love it. I love it. No, great, great books. Great um, mentions about those books. Who are your heroes and why? Oh, man. Who oh, are God. my heroes? I have a quite, well, I'm not going to say I have a quite a few because I don't, but. <laughs> a list. Uh, yeah, I have like five uh, heroes. <laughs> well, Black Panther for one. No, I'm playing. Chadwick um, Boseman, oh my God. Chadwick, listen, listen. That dude. He's, he's one of them, okay? A definitely recent hero, because doing him doing Black Panther um, in the situation he was in, you know, with his, with his sickness and all that, nobody knew. You know, nobody knew. And sometimes, and he, he did become my hero once I found out what was going on, because I'm like, you know, you going through all of that and you push through and we're sitting here watching this movie. We're enjoying it. We're like, oh, my God, oh, ah, ah. we see all the action, um, all the stunts that he's doing. And when you think about like, yo, he was doing all of this and he was sick. What excuse do I have? Like, really, <laughs> you know, what excuse do I have? And so um, he's definitely one of them. Um, and I love Marvel. I love Marvel. Thanks to my son. I love Marvel now, right? <laughs> um, um, but my heroes, my my parents, my parents are, are definitely they're my heroes. They're my heroes. Um, they work hard, like he said. I come from a Jamaican family. Um, they came to the United States. You know, my dad had a few dollars in his pocket when he came here um, mm. in the eighties and grew a whole business. You know, in New York from scratch, and that just showed me, you know, he modeled to me like what that looks like, what an entrepreneur looks like. I didn't know all the ins and outs of it. I was a kid, you know, I had a great lifestyle. I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh yeah, all kids are spoiled. No, <laughs> you know, when I grew up and um, realized that people really struggle out here. I didn't know that. I, I honestly didn't know that. And so they're definitely my heroes. Um, not everybody can come here um, and do what, the, what they've been able to do. Um, so they are, they're my heroes. I love that. That's so incredible. Shout out to your family. Shout out to your mom and dad. Um, 
for sticking through and 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 bringing here because we are now blessed with you because you are here. What is your favorite way to give back to the community? Um, I like being hands on. <laughs> I like being hands on. Um, I donate a lot too to different nonprofit organizations. Um, to anyone in need, really. Um, but I like to be hands on. Um. I'm a part of the Mission Continues, which is a veterans organization. I've been a part of that alumni for about four or five years now. And uh, my first six months in that organization, I volunteered at Habitat for Humanity. And I did when I was a child and forgot all about it. But five years ago, I uh, um, volunteered with them for six months. I went in every day for about four or five hours and just trying to learn, you know, learn the ins and outs of what they actually do. And we were able to go out every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, if I remember correctly, um, and jump in, get our hands dirty, and, and build. And that's what I enjoy doing. Um, we are always, you know, if you look at my Facebook or my Instagram, you'll see, just scroll back a little bit, because, you know, this year due to COVID, we haven't been uh, that mobile. But all the time I'm doing, I'm at somewhere doing somebody project, okay? <laughs> um, and it's, it's so fun, but we're able to give back. Um, we're able to um, talk to the people in the community. We went to Baltimore uh, earlier this year. We were in, no, is it Baltimore or DC? I'm sorry. We were in DC earlier this year. Um, and the last year we were in Baltimore. And just seeing the people, you know, we go into different neighborhoods that um, are, what we, you know, we might say they're less privileged or whatever we want to call it. But to see the gratitude on the people's faces. Like they come out and they're like, you're doing this for us? Like y'all getting paid? Like what, why are you here? You know, and we tell them why we're there and they're just like, oh wow, give me a shovel. You know, what y'all need? You need a, the wheelbarrow? Okay, I'll be right back. Like they, and we're there with tools. You know, we're there with tools. We're, we're there with uh, Home Depot uh, comes out and, and helps. Um, when we were in Atlanta two years ago, we had a project there and, and the Tyler Perry, um, studios came out and helped in droves. Like his whole, all of his employees were there with their t-shirts. Um, yeah. And it's just to show you the Atlanta Falcons, they came out. So it just goes to show you like people, when you are out here helping the community, people will show up. People will definitely uh, show up. And so that's what I love to do. I love to give back um, in any way that I can help with. I love tools. I love power tools. And so um, that's, it's fun for me. Um, but I like so to fellas, see fellas what, beware. <laughs> <laughs> I use it for good. I use the power tools for good. Okay. <laughs> that's incredible, man. That's 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 the heart. That's the that's the heart. You can't get any deeper than that. Um man, I'm so glad I asked you for to be on the show. Thank you. <laughs> For being Thank on the show, Miss Rika, how can people connect with you? How can people, my audience, support you and and grow with you? And thank you for having me. I definitely appreciate you even bringing me on the show for inviting me up here. Thank you so much. Um, and you can, uh, you guys, you can reach out to me on Facebook, uh, Rika Wright on Facebook, and he just put it up there. Spell R I I two eyes, right? K A Rika Wright on Facebook. Um, on Instagram, you can reach me at I am. Rika Wright. I am Rika Wright on Instagram. You can DM me, inbox me. Um, if you want to call, my number is 757-613-1968. That's 757-613-1968. Um, if you need your credit fix, if you need you know, a will, trust, power of attorney, um, or if you're looking to make an extra income weekly and that'll help you, then definitely give me a call. I'd love to help you, love to work with you. Um, just be coachable, be hungry and be willing to do the work, right? It's simple work. Um, it's, it's not, uh, hard, um, but there is work to be done that you have to put in, right? Anything you want in life, you got to put the work in. So, um, give me a call and let's get to work. <laughs> mm, mm, facts. Thank you all for tuning in to Gentleman Style Podcast. This has been an incredible show. This has been a dynamic show. And I'm going to just say one word, Asiago Chicken. Um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. This, Miss Rika, you are amazing. And you are what's necessary. You are what, what this world needs. Thank you. Thank and you. please don't ever give up.
Don't ever give I up. Won't. Don't ever quit. Don't ever stop hustling. Don't ever stop grinding because the world is changed by you every single day. And we need Thank you. you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. So, and we need all of you too. All of you guys listening. We need Mr. Norman. We need everybody on here that's listening or that's watching. If you're watching live right now, um, make sure you don't give up. Make sure you don't give up. Like he said, do not give up. Whatever you're doing, know that you can do it. Right. It's all about your mindset. Know that you can do it. Whether you say you can or you can't, you're right. <laughs> so make sure you say you can. Even if you don't know how, say yes and go figure it out later. You got YouTube University. Right. You got people like me. You got people like Mr. Norman who will help you. So make sure you utilize us. Make sure you go follow us. OK. And um, and reach out. We don't bite. <laughs> Right. Absolutely. Absolutely not. My audience, I thank you guys for tuning in to Gentleman's Talk Podcast today, the number one show coming to you live in America. So like I always say before I end every episode, take care of your friends, take care of your family, always take care of business. This is Marcus Norman and Mitch Rika Wright, the credit plug, signing off. Love you guys.